Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily stock market review for the trading day ending Monday, November 23rd. Firstly to the S&P 500 and uh, here we've seen a change of trend today. Technically uh, this current candle has made a lower high and a lower low. Uh, finding resistance at the previous uh, 2093 area, an area that held as resistance for the previous candle, but also finding support at the bottom of the uh, highlighted yellow zone of previous support and resistance. Now, the formation of an indecisive candle here does suggest that uh, there is potential for the buyers to come back into the market and uh, we also could see the sellers and that's what the indecision is about. Formation of an indecisive spinning top type candle at the um, a top of a significant uptrend does suggest that there is a possibility of the sellers coming into the market and suggest that, that trend that was in place previously that was quite strong may no longer be in force and we could see the sellers take control. Now the important word is could uh, so uh, that's why we like to see formation of a candle with a lower high and a lower low in the next candle to uh, just confirm the change of trend that we have seen here today. Now obviously moving forward this support will continue to be the benchmark for the sellers uh, down around 2080, 2079 and if we do see the sellers come into the market strongly looking to strong support to come in at the kitchen Sen around 2066. By the same token the benchmark for the uh, buyers is 2093 and if we can breach up through there we could easily end up trading to the round number 2100 and even perhaps beyond if we can build some momentum through there. In terms of Ichimoku, we have a bullish market in all three time frames, trading above the cloud, the Kijun Sen and the Tenkin Sen. Interestingly, the Kijun Sen has started to point flat, and very often when we see that, price action will tend to be attracted back towards it, and that makes this uh, support just below where the market is very, very important. So there is a uh, possibility of the uh, trend continuing to the downside, but the indecision in the market does uh, suggest that we do need to be patient, wait until we see how the market reacts to these areas of both support and resistance. And to the bands, and here we see the market trading within the bands, and uh, it suggests uh, that uh, we have a rather neutral market now. Previously, we had a very strong tone to the uptrend, selling off, uh, lack of follow through uh, when we tested down through the lower band, the market retracing, finding resistance close to the upper band, and now finding support on a couple of occasions close to the middle band, and suggesting that the market is neutral and may be beginning or, or preparing to transition into a downtrending phase, but that would uh, we would need to see the market trade through the bottom band uh, with some strong follow through and down through the swing lows, previous swing high, uh, in a bearish manner to confirm. Now by the same token if we do see the buyers come into the market and trade up through the up band with some strong follow through and trade up through this previous swing high 2117 we then could see the market continue to trade significantly higher. Now just looking to the advanced decline line and uh, the advanced decline line is a uh, measure of market breadth and uh, we use it in various ways looking for divergences but um, very often it's uh, handy to put a 50 day moving average on it and quite often when we pass down through the moving average it uh, does uh, warn of a substantial uh, uh, retracement of the previous uptrend but also by the same token when we move up through the top uh, through to the upside through the moving average uh, it can suggest that the buyers are quite strong and uh, the market overall is quite healthy and uh, does suggest that the trend will continue also we've put the bands on here and very often when the bands when the market um, or when the uh, advanced decline moves down through the lower band it does suggest that uh, there is a uh, quite a very strong negative tone to the advanced decline and suggesting that there is very good potential for a change of trend to the downside but also to the upside as well. Uh, when we move up through the upper band on the advanced decline it uh, suggests we have a very strong market. So at the moment we saw uh, previously we were up above the upper band suggesting a strong market and then the move back down to within the bands predicted this sell-off that we saw. Uh, we also uh, then saw the market trade uh, down through the moving average but we've now recovered and that suggests uh, that uh, there is a good potential for this trend to continue based on the advanced decline line. 
next to the Horland index and uh, I use the Horland index here in three time frames uh, the shortest time frame here is uh, very good for uh, looking at divergences as in the, is the medium term time frame and the longer is uh, best used uh, with trend lines or with uh, moving average and here we have the 20 period moving average here uh, when we move above the upper zone here this upper band it suggests a very strong tone to the market to the upside here we move down whilst uh, we uh, saw the recent pullback and now the market is recovering and just up above the uh, moving average on the uh, longer term. The medium term shows a recovery going on uh, but the uh, short term has been up above the bands highlighting a very strong turn to the trend but it's just hovering around that upper band and if it moves within the bands we could see it move back down and it could forewarn of a potential uh, short term top in the next few days. Now the next two charts measure the percentage of uh, stocks in the S&P 500 that are above the one standard deviation um, Bollinger Band and on the bottom subchart the percentage of stocks in the S&P 500 that are below the uh, 1% uh, or one standard deviation Bollinger Band. Here we see uh, that uh, recently when we had the sell-off the uh, stocks above uh, moved down below their bands and suggested that there was uh, uh, potential for uh, weakness in the market and uh, potential for a sell-off and we saw the percentage stocks that were below the bottom band start to move higher as the market sold off. Recently we've seen a recovery uh, along uh, the way with the uh, percentage of stocks above the band increasing. Uh, they have just started to come off slightly and uh, the percentage of uh, stocks below the band have been continually moving down and this suggests that there isn't any great danger yet but if we do see that percentage of stocks above the uh, upper band and the percentage of stocks that are below the lower band switch and uh, those below the lower band start to increase it could be a, a forewarning of a potential uh, uh, short-term high in the uh, overall S&P 500. Next to the NASDAQ 100 and uh, here we see formation of a uh, very much larger black bodied spinning top type candle than we saw for the previous day's trading. This suggests that net momentum has shifted from the buyers which was uh, very small for the previous day to the sellers and in a uh, much more uh, considerable way. The uh, uh, sellers have closed with uh, fairly weak control. They have closed just down below the midpoint level but only just and uh, the uh, however the formation of that black body candle suggests that net momentum uh, to the sellers is quite strong and suggesting good potential for a change of trend. Now uh, just looking where the market traded to for today we tested the 4659 level previous resistance level previous support area uh, which has been tested on multiple occasions in the recent past and support coming in here may see buyers come in and it is an area we do need to watch very very closely but the short term dynamics in this candle are certainly favouring uh, potential for a change of trend so 4659 becomes very important. I suggest that if we do breach down through there in a strong bearish manner we could end up trading down to the Tengen Cent around and uh, 4596 so that is an area we should be watching for very strong support to come in by the same token watching resistance overhead 4696 uh, there is a possibility of the buyers returning back into the market just looking at the band chart and uh, we have tested to the upper band today and that has held a strong resistance 4706 uh, by the same token testing down to uh, support at the middle of the bands we do have the band squeezing up and this suggests that the market is preparing for its next move. Uh, it could squeeze even tighter or it could break out but the squeeze is, is going on and that suggests that we should be ready for a breakout and some strong trending, direct, trending, trending activity in either direction. And to the uh, Russell 2000 and this is the most bullish of all the indices so obviously uh, the uh, capital has been flowing into the smaller cap stocks as opposed to the larger cap stocks or the uh, uh, tech, the narrower tech stocks in the NASDAQ 100. Uh, the trend has continued on its way and this is quite a good sign for the markets. Um, a strong white body candle. Uh, buyers closing with control, a moderate form of control, just up above the midpoint level, moderate to weak. Um, important price rejection coming in at 1182 previous resistance area. 
and this is an area that has held as resistance in the recent past we did breach through there it held a support and now acting as resistance once again so that's going to be the benchmark moving forward um, a white body candle has formed again so the net momentum is still to the upside and uh, this build of momentum does suggest we certainly could see the market breach through that 1182 area now if we don't see that However, uh, there is very good support down around this 1167 area with the Kitchen Sand trading just above and the Tank and Sand trading just below. And they may provide a solid platform here uh, for uh, an area for the buyers to come in off if we do see any retracement. In terms of Vichimoka, we do still have a bullish market in all three time frames supported by the chicken span. And uh, this suggests that if we don't see the trend continue to the upside here, we're likely to see the market find support at one of these areas and buyers return back into the market solidly. Moving next to, next to some stocks on a short term basis on the daily charts and uh, Disney is one that we've been watching for some time, DIS is the code and uh, here we see some selling coming into the market today, a, a black body candle with the sellers taking control at the end of a very strong first time frame uptrend that we've been in for the past week or so. Uh, this suggests that there is potential for a change of trend here and uh, the market will be approaching some very strong uh, uh, resistance uh, around this previous swing high around 122.80. Uh, at the moment we traded to the 120.65 area so even if the trend does continue to the upside we could find some resistance there but the selling here for today's candle does suggest that we could see the market retrace and we'll be looking to the tank and centre hold as support at 116.99 or at the upper band at 117.90 in terms of relative strength and comparative and uh, its momentum. Uh, we are in a uh, leading quadrant here so leading the overall uh, equities market um, over the last couple of days however we have seen momentum of relative strength start to move backwards and it suggested that the trend in this uh, relative strength comparative uh, was not as strong as we'd like it to be and suggesting that there was potential for uh, some uh, slight underperformance to come in and uh, a uh, weakening of the relative strength comparative so we will be watching the next candle very closely for a potential lower high and lower low. Now Home Depot has been a very strong stock in uh, the uh, last week or so. Um, we, on, In terms of Ichimoku, trading above each of the Ichimoku indicators, both of the indicators, the Tankatan and Kinchins, are pointing up very sharply, showing very strong upside momentum. And the relative strength comparative, uh, well trading well outside of the upper band, and suggesting uh, that we have a very strong tone to the uptrend in the medium term time frame. Relative strength comparative is a above 100% as its momentum and the momentum here is well up above the bands and suggesting a very strong tone here to the upside. The buyers are continuing in with control here. Um, this stock has been performing uh, the outperforming the overall market very very strongly over the last week or so. And moving to Verisign, VRSN is the code, and this is a stock that we have been watching very closely uh, for the uh, past week or two. And uh, here we see a continuation up above each of the Ichimoku indicators, up above the upper band, reflecting that very strong tone to the market. As I've mentioned, it was looking very overdone. We don't have any sign of uh, that yet in the uh, on the relative strength comparative both relative strength and its momentum are, are above the 100 percent level so suggesting that it, this is a leading stock and strongly outperforming the overall market um, the tone of the trend in both the uh, relative strength and its momentum is very strong but the formation of a very small indecisive candle here suggests that we may not continue to see the strong outperformance that we've seen recently. Uh, this suggests that there is a very strong possibility and it is only a possibility of a pullback. So we will be watching for a potential lower high and lower low and if we do see that occur we're likely to find very strong support coming in initially at the Tengensen trading at 86.34 or at the upper band at 85.94.